we're talking to Mr. Safan. Safan, good morning. Good mor- Good evening. How are you? And good morning so to far, you. So far, so good. Thanks for asking. Let's dive into it, brother. I got a busy day. I got about six other individuals that we need to interview today. That's and great. I'm excited for the vast amount of information I'm going to absorb. So let's okay. dive into it. Where you Where you located originally? What time zone is it? I'm in Pakistan right now. It's 11.30 at night. So you're about to go to sleep? Be like in an hour or two. Yeah. In an hour or two. Okay, that's yeah. good. I like it. So let's yeah. talk about Thinking Grow Rich. First of all, yeah, did definitely. you read Thinking Grow Rich in English or you read it in different language? No, English. English. In English. So you read it in English. Fantastic. Yeah. Tell us what was the first thing that you got out of it. Well, I, I basically heard of it probably almost two years ago, but I actually read it, I think, six months ago. And I mean, the thing is, it's, it's more about mindset, right? So I've always been interested in the, in the, the, the of knowledge and, and the brain power and how mindset can actually change someone, right? So when I actually started reading it, I kind of knew a bit about it from before, but it, got, it, was, it was more in depth than what I knew before. So I think it was, like, it was, it was a revolutionary book. It changed probably my life and probably a few other people who I actually t- told the book to, you know, to read as well. So it was a good book to read. <laughs> What, what is it that one or two things that you think for, for where you live, because you're yeah. not in the United States, you're in Pakistan. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's perfect that people over there are doing self-improvement because yeah, could, this, this, is, this is revolutionizing the world. It's yeah. not just in the United States. So this yeah. is what I want you. First of all, a lot of our audience, a lot of individuals mm-hmm. I come across that have not read the book fully, they think okay. only this works in the United States, which is no. completely fabricated. No. It works everywhere. So I'm glad that you're a living proof of that. That that's even if you even if you live in Mars, it'll probably work there as well. <laughs> <laughs> we mean, just need to get the people there to, and get the currency honest, money there. <laughs> this, this this book. And if you, could, you could summarize this book in one word. It's called basically mindset, right? It's everything you do is mindset. If you want to exercise, you want to lose weight, it's a mindset. You want to be successful in life, it's a mindset. You want to start a business, it's a mindset. So whatever you do, even if, even if you go to school, it's about mindset, right? If you think you can't uh, pass your exam, you're not going to pass. If you actually believe yourself you could, you'll pass with flying colors. So that's what, the, that's what differentiates between the, like, the people who are like successful and the people who are just, you know, spending their days working 24 hours a day and not getting anywhere in life. Right. So that's the difference. That's why I, I, that's what I gather from it as well. Right. And initially how he starts, how Napoleon Hill starts off with each chapter being like, uh, you first have the idea, then you think of, you first think about the idea, then you basically, you start working on it to build the business out of the idea. Then the most important thing, imagination, right? You can start as many businesses as you want, but if you don't have the imagination to take it to the next level, there's no point. Because I've seen so many people who have started businesses, but I guess they start pro- procrastinating. They start think, oh, it's not, it won't be successful. It won't do too well. Or people will talk and people will do this, et cetera, right? So they, they, can't, they can't pass the hurdle and go to the next stage, right? So you have to break free from all these things to basically to take it to the next level of launching it and to building it and to scaling it at the same time, right? Like I have three of my own businesses too. And to be honest, I tried like five years ago, I wasn't the person who I am today, okay? I was pretty shy. I didn't really speak as much in the open. Like I was very quiet and kept reserved type of person, right? But gradually I realized I need to get out of my shell and break free from it and like learn new skills, you know, broaden my horizons type of thing, right? And that's why I became more open. Now, I actually, I started my own blog called Startuply, the, the one you, you're, which I followed you with, right? So that's basically a, a motivational, like on, on my Instagram, I, I post motivational quotes. But my blog is about, is about entrepreneurship. Like I help entrepreneurs with like business documents, resources, tools. I write articles on, on entrepreneurship, on, star, on, on marketing, on personal development as well. So when I started the, my, my blog, it was basically nothing. I had no idea what I was, I was doing. I just started for the heck of it. Started, I built it, I think it started, it's been three years now. So I just kept building upon it, building upon it, started writing articles. I wasn't even a good writer. I didn't even know how to write. My grammar was horrible. But even then, I just kept publishing content, right? I didn't really care who's, if anyone was gonna read it or not. I'm sure probably five people read it, 10 people read it. And, and then I started getting emails saying, oh my God, I read your article. And it was, it was so good like to actually get some feedback from, you know, from, from different people, right? 
then gradually like can I, I can started... I add something to that? Can I it's the funny thing that you brought that up. I'm going to say yeah. the other day I think it was like 2 weeks ago. So I was yeah. posting on Instagram and yeah. you know on, on my Android for on, on my Samsung it does sometimes auto correct and my yeah. grammar on the first line on one yeah. of my posts was mistake it was like the it, it, it just it, it made sense but it wasn't in the proper grammar yeah so i got like 11 dms from these yeah. english professors all these <laughs> sophisticated people now mind you i have 140,000 followers yeah. they got like 600 followers yeah. so they got like, yeah by the way you made a mistake on this and i'm reading this i'm all like you completely forgot what i posted exactly. on the post but you correcting my grammar like yeah. seriously like go post something help somebody else but of thank course. you for letting me know but yeah. that's not going to do anything so yeah i get that all the time and then my wife being an attorney she <laughs> was correct me too but i'm all like listen i get the job done it, it's not yeah. about the grammar who cares of course the people not. that want to get my message they're gonna get the message it, yeah, for, don't kill the messenger the messenger yeah. is irrelevant get the message yeah. and move on so of course. like you mentioned it i never cared how they Those... and my spelling my grammar is not perfect even though i was yeah. raised in u.s I deal with a lot of Persians, so I got yeah. that built into me. I speak other languages, so the guy messaged me with one of them. Maybe, hopefully, he doesn't screenshot my message and post it online. <laughs> I said, listen, <laughs> homie, I speak three other languages. Why don't you learn other languages and then correct my grammar? So, yeah. and then we, became, we became friends after that. <laughs> He's like, well, I didn't know you were going to answer like that. I was like, come <laughs> on, man, you got to move on. Don't, don't waste my time correcting my grammar. But that, yeah. so I, I, I definitely respect you for not caring yeah. how everything is. Just deliver the message and it's totally those fine. So, those guys, so those what guys are someone, those guys are haters. You just have to ignore them. Right? <laughs> no, I is. think some of them are just doing it for the kindness of yeah. their heart. They think that True. I didn't know. I'm not like, I was driving and posting. Yeah. Don't worry about that. We're good. So, sorry, I went on a tangent, but we're talking yeah. about thinking. Glory. So, <laughs> yeah. let me ask you a question. What other yeah. languages do you speak? I speak English and Urdu. You Urdu speak is... English. How many individuals speak Urdu? What's the population of Pakistan? Um, it's probably like 21 million right now. Yeah, around 21, 21 million. million. How yeah. did you buy the book? Um, so basically, you can get it at bookstores <laughs> over here very easily. But the thing is, I heard about, I, I, was, I was born in the U.S. I lived in the U.S. for like 16 years. So I, I've like been, lived in the U.S. I've lived in England. I've lived in Dubai and all that stuff. So I've been exposed to like, you know, Tony Robbins, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. So I, I watch all their videos all the time, right? So I think one of them, you know, Bob Proctor. Uh, He's a good Bob guy. Proctor, I like him. Yeah. So he was, I was listening to one of his talks, I think two years ago or a year ago. And in there he mentioned it. So I, I heard about it. I wrote it down. That I'll buy it one day. But then I obviously slipped my mind. And I, I think I went to the bookstore one day. And I actually saw it. I was like, oh, wow, wow, it's the same book. So I picked up and read it. I'm actually also reading The Power of Subconscious Mind right now as well. That's a good I got, one. I, I got it like a week ago. So I only, only read like probably three, four pages. So I still have to, lot to go through it. Definitely. So this is what we're going to do. You and I are going to be in contact. Make sure you yeah. send me your personal uh, account if you got one. Let's okay. stay in contact. What I do want is I need expertise. Um, yeah. We're coming up with the summary of Thinking Grow Rich. Uh, okay. I'm putting together a, a, a very, very good a short summary for everybody to be able to um, definitely read um, mm -hmm. the summary and get an idea if they haven't read the book. So that gets them going to re go read the book. It should entice them to go read the book. Yeah. Also, I'm writing the summary so individuals who have read the book, you can't remember 250 pages verbatim. Yeah. So I'm going to give that summary out so, you know, if they want to touch up on some of the principles that they haven't done. But we'll mm -hmm. definitely send it to you. We'll definitely appreciate mm -hmm. if you can translate it for us and yeah. send it back. So on our website, if they, anybody wants it in Urdu, we could definitely mm -hmm. give it to them too. So that will be yeah. your contribution to our channel, and it will be That'll much be appreciated. Good. That so That'll we'll definitely do it. But so you, know you what? and I, I are going to be I, in contact. I, Go ahead. I I actually think I have a summary for Think and Grow Rich. One of my business partners in the U.S. Perfect. He he writes summaries for most of these books, so he might have it. I'll, I'll contact him and ask him if he has it. 
And it, so that way, send it to that way, we need that way it. you don't you don't have to do it. So you, I can send it to you directly. You can you can have. Let's it. do it. Let's do it. But, If you can send it, that would be appreciated. Yeah. And I know Q has been in contact with you, so you yeah. and I are going to be in contact. We are building a mastermind group, uh, okay. especially for the elite ones. So we're yeah. going to send you the info on that, so you'll have it, brother. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. It was nice talking to you. We'll do yeah, this more too. often. Definitely. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.